Susan Wilson reminisces about moments of beauty, moments where you soak in your surroundings. A cruise to Alaska in June of 2012. You know, unbelievable. It was a, it was a trip of a lifetime. And those are the memories you have. Right. Right. And then he came back home. I came back home. This is what Wilson came home to, a condominium that she had bought for her son to move into on fire. We pulled in and my son runs out, fire. And I'm going, I thought he was joking. He goes, no, the house is really on fire. A June storm that blew through Columbus caused the power to go out at the condo. And when that happened, Wilson's son forgot he left the stove on. The dial turned up. They had left a pot on the stove, and the pot also had grease in it. So when the electric came back on, it ignited and caused the fire. One of the things we pride ourselves in as a fire department is being able to knock these fires down quickly, uh, to use it to a one room in contents if we can get there. But usually when we get these calls, it's fire coming through the roof, fire coming out the windows because there was no one there to to find the fire. Fire investigator Mike DeFrancisco says they've noticed a lot more of these fires that happen when the power goes out. The usual suspects cause the problem like unattended candles and space heaters or kerosene lamps. But the stove fires might be a surprise to homeowners who forget about having it turned on. Obviously the first thing we think of is well I'm going to go somewhere else but we need to make sure that those auxiliary heating sources are turned off, that the stove is actually turned in the off position and that we've extinguished all the candles. This particular fire at this condo was the first. During renovation, Wilson says the construction company doing the work sparked another fire. A new company is on the job, but the condo is still not done more than a year later. Wilson is left now looking at those pictures of Alaska, wondering when she gets to go on vacation again. We thought this would be ready and we'd be you know, off on another cruise. So we just love Alaska. We use